Government corruption has never been more prevalent or caused more harm. It's why extremism is on the rise. It's why the financial gap between the haves and have nots has never been wider. And it's why our planet is at risk of an extinction level tragedy. That's why I need your help to keep exposing the truth about the rot on both sides of the aisle. Become a supporter or a friend of the show today by clicking on the coffee link in the description box below. Friends of the show, join me on a Zoom hangout once a month, and you guys can ask me any questions you want, and I can get to know you better. But the most important reason to help is to keep the show alive. Together, we can and will save our country and our planet. Thanks in advance and enjoy the show. Another stunning moment was when Cipollone very hesitantly admitted that Trump didn't want the mob to leave the Capitol. It was it was uncomfortable. It, his answer contained quite possibly the longest pause in the history of the world. Um, and then a disturbing detail that emerged came from Sarah Matthews. She recounted how she argued with other members of Trump's press team about whether or not Trump should issue a statement condemning the violence. Matthews admitted that some of the team didn't want Trump to express condemnation because it would, quote, give the media a win. Give the media a win. That was their reason. Officers were being beaten half to death and the mob wanted to hang our vice president. But their concern was not giving mainstream media a quote unquote win. These vile, craven bastards worked for Trump for a reason. This is why today's Republican Party needs to be destroyed and dismantled. It is now filled with power hungry monsters who would walk over their dead mother's bodies to get what they want. And here's the thing. Even these people who are speaking out, even these people who have come forward now, remember this. These are the same people who saw the Muslim ban and said, yeah, sure, sounds good. These are the same people who heard what he said about Hispanic immigrants and said, yeah, I agree with that. I like that. These are the same people who watched him viciously, cruelly steal children toddlers and infants from their parents, some of whom still haven't been reunited because they did nothing to track their existence. And they were totally cool with it. They were good with it. They stayed with him after that. Some of them came on board after that. So are these people heroes? Fuck no. No, they heard him insult John McCain because he got caught, because he was tortured as a prisoner of war. And they said, yeah, yeah, I'm on board. They watched him mock a disabled reporter and they said nothing. They continued with their, their support of him. So no, are they great people and great patriots? And do they put the country first? And did they care about his character? No, not until he was already on the way out the door. And even then they stayed silent. Only now have they come forward. None of them are heroes. Do I thank them now for finally finding some courage, finally finding some morals and some ethics? And some of their own character, yes, I guess better late than never. But none of them deserve praise for doing what they should have done years ago. Anyway, the committee confirmed that there will be more public hearings. This is going to be in September because they said they've received a ton of new evidence. They have all new witnesses that have come forward. In fact, committee co-chair Liz Cheney said, quote, the dam has broken. So whatever that means, I'm hoping that, yeah, these some of these people have gone, well, I may as well speak up now because now others have already come forward and I want to get on TV too. I want people to hail me as a hero. 
Anyway, guys, um, to wrap things up, though, I think this quote from Trump sums up his state of mind on January 6th and his motive. After he reluctantly made that hostage video where he told his supporters that he loved them, go home, you know, he was about to retire up to the residence for the evening. And he apparently told a White House staffer, quote, Mike Pence let me down. That was it. That was all he cared about. That was all that was on his mind after hours of officers being brutalized. Nothing else was worthy of a mention from Trump. That's who they supported for years. That's who they thought was a good person. And they told us all that we were crazy. Oh, that we had Trump derangement syndrome. Because we dared to say that the person leading our country should have morals and character. Yeah, what a horrible thing. What horrible people we are on the left to ask for that. And we should ask that of our own leaders, too, on the left. We should have asked that of Clinton. We should have asked that a lot of a lot of our leaders. But we didn't. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching and listening. Take care. I'll talk with you soon.